In this exercise, I will give some hints towards an overview exercise on peak separation in ion exchange chromatography. Peak separation is not the focus of our course in separation processes, so the purpose of this exercise is to put our focus on breakthrough curves into a larger chromatographic context and to try to make sure you understand the importance of pH in chromatographic separation of proteins. So into a, two, a column, a two millimeter solution is injected, uh, containing one milligram per milliliter each of three different proteins, bovine serum albumin, BSA, myoglobin, and beta-lactoglobulin. The PI intervals for these proteins are BSA, 4.3 to 5.4, beta-lactoglobulin, 4.8 to 5.3, and finally myoglobin, 6.7 to 7.0. Using solutions with pH values of approximately 8 produces this chromatogram. And your task is to explain why one of the proteins exits very quickly, that is, does not interact much with the solid material in the column. First, a few words on what we see in this chromatogram. The dashed line that increases with time is the measurement of the conductivity, and you can see the uh, values of conductivity on the y-axis to the right. The thick solid line is the actual chromatogram as measured absorbance. The rest of the lines are computer simulations where a chromatographic model parameterized for these three proteins have been fitted such that we can predict approximately how much of each protein comes at what time, even when the peaks are overlapping. So if we take away the measurement of conductivity, and the computer simulations, we're left with the actual chromatogram. What we're asked to explain is why the different proteins have different uh, residence times, uh, and especially why myoglobin comes out so quickly. The hint I will give you here is that the PI of a protein has something to do with its charge at different pH values. 